Hey everybody, it's SK again. We just got our ass kicked in the last fight, which is fine. This is why I have like 15 goddamn armies just kind of standing there doing their thing. All of my people are alive for the most part, so it's okay. It's okay. We're good. We're fine. We gonna make some shit happen. We gonna make the magic happen, Captain. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about because I have another people. Another people, another regiment immediately coming in right behind us. Shut up with your encoding overload. It's fine. Yes, I've come to dance at last. Yes, yes. Where the fuck? Oh, that's right. I slew them all. Like the dogs they were. This is going to be so much fucking easier. All right. Who do I want to give like free experience to? Kazoo, you're pretty cool. Marcus, I, you have a lot of beasts for some reason. Sure, whatever. Why not? I guess. What do you have? Meh. Oh, she also doesn't- she hasn't regen all of her MP yet. That's nice. Also, my people fucking suck. <laughs> They're absolutely awful against this, but she has Ashguru, who are apparently really good at- Oh, that's right, that's right. Japanese, right. Pikemen versus, you know, dragons are really good. I forgot that. Samurai and all that good stuff. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. We cool, we cool. All right. What is her name? Ryuka? Ryuka? Shit, I forgot her name already. Um, I suck. That's fine. Oh well. So, Chickadee up here is basically gonna be my ticket to salvation, which is great. Because that means I can, you know, survive, which is nice. I like surviving. Don't you tell me my goddamn encoding is overloaded. It's fine. It is perfectly fine. It's okay. I'll shut that down as well so that we can stop getting pissy about it. Don't you kill my people. That's unfortunate. Now it also hits like a fucking truck. Jesus. Stone rain that bitch, please. I mean, I don't know why I'm so surprised. I already knew that hit like a truck. If this if this encoding like issue makes this look bad, I apologize. Like sincerely, sincerely apologize. Wow, look at that lag though. Yeah. Suck it, Midius man. How's that for you? Yeah, they're they're wrecking her face. They're wrecking like Midia's people, which is great. Attack. Fuck them. Fight the boss chick. Oh Jesus Christ, that hurts. I have to retreat. Son of a bitch. That thing hits real hard, dude. That hits real hard. Okay, hang on a sec. It, it might get super quiet for you guys. I'm gonna be testing something. Um, I found out earlier a really interesting thing, a really cool and interesting thing, as a matter of fact, that uh, I have the ability to actually watch the videos that I'm making as I'm making them. Because something about the way this is recorded or something, I have no fucking clue. So we're gonna watch this real quick. They're doing their thing. So we... Yes, I've come to dance. Kazoo, you're pretty cool. Mark, give like freaks. Whatever. Sorry, not, you're hearing shit in the background. Oh, sh they're absolutely awful against this. But she has Ashguru, who apparently. That's cool. That's cool. Shit, I forgot her name already. Um, I suck. That's fine. Oh, oh yeah, well. I am seeing like. What is her name? Yuka. Tell me my goddamn. Oh, uh, yeah, I am seeing, like, some, some recording badness going on there. Well, fuckery do. Okay. That's unfortunate. Um. I apologize. <laughs> I, I, again, I, I apologize. I didn't realize that, I mean, the whole reason I built this computer was so that way, like, it could do both of these things at the same time, and the fact that it's still having encoding problems, even though I'm doing that kind of... Irritates me a smidgerino. Smidgerino. Just a smidge. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Okay, Alon. Wow, she had one HP left? Fuck. Okay. Good thing I retreated. I didn't realize she was actually that low. I just knew she had a sliver of health, not one. Woo! Alright. So, Mr. Muskman. Uh, you might be taking a hit or two. I, I hope you don't mind with that. You don't mind with that? You don't mind that. Yes, I know, encoding overload, dude. What do you want me to tell you, man? Alright, it, it's gonna be what it's gonna be, my friends. 
If I had realized at the outset that apparently my brand new computer could not handle doing two things at once, I, well, for one, I would have spent less fucking money on it. Yes, yes, you two completely disregard each other. That's fantastic. Good, thank you. We're also going to start shooting Midi in the face. If you want to do the whole let's dance with Jig, that's fine, because that means you can't heal, which means that you die faster. He also hits like a truck, too, so I'm giving Elon Musk all the credit in the world here. Stop having encoding issues. You're fine. You're fine. Turn me on the video settings and some faster coding. Nah, nah, nah. You're fine. You're okay. Oh, awesome. I'm going to shoot you in the face, you will die, and it will be fantastic. Boom shaka! Oh, you, you, you screwed up the boom shaka! Oh, you're healing, aren't you? Oh, you fucker. Son of a bitch. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Wait, that was only 2 MP?! Is healing usually to only 2 MP? Are we sure about this detail? Can I get some verification on this, please? That's bullshit! And that's some very clever goddamn AI, for sure. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. It may be a stupid idea, but it's an idea. She only has 2 MP left. So if I have someone... My god, I hope I do. If I have someone that actually has the ability to nuke... Like Kazoo, for example. And even fucking Banders. Hey Kazoo, you're up next. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right, my friend. Because you have the ability to cast Aura Shot, and I so hope to God that you have a higher intellect than she does. You probably don't. But here's hoping the AI is not quite that smart. And then I can actually make this shit work. Well, it's a shame to have you all to myself. Yes, that's that's fantastic. Okay. Form ranks, all of you murder the shit out of this this weird demon lady. Oh yeah, she's got way higher intellect than Kazoo does. Fuck. Don't heal, don't heal, don't heal, don't heal, don't heal, don't heal, don't heal. Bye bye! Boom Shaka! There we go. See, that is how you correct the boom shaka. Thank you. Back. Okay. Now we gotta take a little bit of time to figure out just where the hell my other armies are. The sun's light, the crunch of grass under my feet, the streams murmur, what a beautiful stage. Is she gonna, like, commit suicide or something? But as a child of darkness, I was never meant to find happiness here, was I? How sad, how very sad. Well, I mean, like, you can renounce Satan and all that stuff and, you know... I will happily accept you into my fold, Madonna boobs and all. I'm, I'm down for strong generals. That's Ayami, that's her name. Oh, yeah. Castle recruit. They also have a full fucking compliment, too, which is pretty baller. So, hold up. Uh, let's get some of those reserves going on up in that business. And what about Kare? How are you guys doing over here? You still ain't got shit, so... so... Let's move you guys over here. Nope. Do, 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 do. Hmm. I'm looking over this as if it matters. It truly does not. You go here. Doot, 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 doot. Doot, doot, doot. So I just want Null to get a little bit of health back. One more tick. 
Okay. Edward, Augusto, Nira, Nolt, and Gobal. Why? Because they're gonna be my they're gonna be my group or my uh army killers, basically. Ah! What do you mean it's that the turn is ended? Damn it! You're screwing up my groove, man. I saw a dragon statue in there. Fuck yeah! I also saw an Astia statue in there. Sweet! Sweetness! Weekly report. Uh-huh. That's fantastic. That's wonderful. Uh, items. Wait. Dragon statue? So where is... my chick? Where's Kade? Yes, I am maxing her fucking health because I, I need to. So who else... Who else do I have that I need to, like, up their game? Who is it? Bards is pretty fucking amazing. I hear Varley was kind of like, he's a one, he's basically a one-man wrecking crew. Like, OP. Like, OP, OP. Fuji Pants. Lorne, sorry honey, I kind of let you die a couple times. My B. Um. Who the hell do I have in my group? I have Avaris, right? Where's Avaris? Edelvok. I'm gonna give him to Edelvok. I can't find Avaris in here anywhere. Never mind, I can find him. Never mind, found him! I'm still giving him the Edelvok. Uh, Astia's Herb. Who do, I, who do I want to have more MP? Who has what? Uh, item? I kind of wish I could see what general has what. If there's a way to do that. I don't know if there is or not. Drop the chatter unless you're here to discuss the strategy. So that's about as happy as he's likely to get. Okay. Well, fuck it. I'm just gonna give it to Edelvok as well. I hope you like that, asshole. Yeah, that sounds about right. Good. Building? Can I build anything? Literally doesn't matter. Okay. Save, please. Do you guys feel it in the air? Do you feel the victory on the on the tip of your tongue? Do you see the beauty of victory in your grasp or some bullshit? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Alright. Renny, do not die. Do not die horribly. You're young and you're cute and all that shit. Oh wait, no, you're that's Santa's. You then, okay. Galazart! Forty's pretty badass too. Oh, mutton chops! Mutton chops, I, that's right. She has fucking 12 MP. <laughs> she can only use healing, but she has 12 MP. Bolt Storm, Dark Vortex. Alright. Galazar, you're up. You're up, my man. And your existence will be... Duly recognized for being awesome sauce. I think my, my recording thing is finally done. So yay! No more encoding errors, guys. Yay! I have learned my lesson. I'm sorry that these past two videos have probably been like shit shows. Uh, I have learned my lesson. Do not do any kind of recording while that's running because apparently my computer still can't fucking handle it. Not that I'm bitter. Undyne. Oh, that's right. Galazar is pretty baller. Alka Ball, Undyne, Hailstorm, and Hyperstorm. I'm still probably gonna... I might just spam Aqua Ball. Because my cavalry are gonna be... Uh, that's not the button I wanted to press. Because my, my cavalry are gonna be just ripping these ogres to shreds. Yes, yes, bring me their heads. You're, you're going to die. I hope you understand this. Yes? Don't deep black me. Don't deep black me. Actually, wait a minute. I just realized that. He has deep black. Yeah, I'm gonna undine the fuck out of you, my, my friends. Yeah, are badass. Come here, boys. That was not nearly as effective as I was hoping it would be. 
Is this deep black? Is this what I'm expecting? Yep. Deep black. Unfortunate. But them's the berries. And they're also doing that weird ass AI like trot down this trot down the screen bullshit. But that's fine. I mean, the farther they go from me, the general, the, the easier my life will be. Because that means it will take longer for them to do damage to me, which means uh something, something dark side. So does this go across the entire screen, or is it just what they're showing on the map? I'm assuming, like, it's it's deleting that layer of just pure blackness and then adding, like, little, you know, elements of, you know, like, little black dots or something. Like, basically, literally black holes that are just sort of, like, randomly hitting the ground and sucking people off. And, ooh, that's not how that wanted to sound. I'm, I'm trying to understand, like, the technical logistics of how that spell works, basically. Because it does seem to just randomly pull people, so there's got to be some sort of marker that- Oh, hey. My- all my units are dead. Okay, that's cool. That's- that's nifty. So, how about some Undyne? My friend. bye -bye's. It's been real, my friends. It's been real. Get fucked. Galazard is amazing. You were not going to take down Galazard that easily. I pity you, Magic Man. Because once we go into a duel, and we will be dueling, you will know suffering the likes of which you cannot begin to comprehend. Ogre or not, Galazard will F your day up. Oh, maybe not as thoroughly as I'd expected. Alright. I have faith in you, Galazard. I have faith, Galazard. Ah, oh, fuck. Dole indeed. Fuck! Four fucking HP, too. Hey, Rennie, here's some free experience for you, hon. Ah, uh, damn it. I thought he had that shit in the bag, too. I knew I should have aqua balled a couple of times instead of doing that. That would have been an easy win. That should have been an easy win. Mm. Yeah, you fear no army. Go fuck yourself. You took out Galazard, you bastard. I don't care if I only have a healing spell. I will heal myself and, and you will... I don't know. You go to hell! You go to hell and you die! You gonna bolt storm me? Good! <laughs> that was a nice feeling of just a random fireball coming off the screen out of nowhere and just one-shotting him. That's a nice feeling. He deserved it, bastard. Bow. Holy shit, Sir Mutton Chops can't do shit against this man. I don't care. I'm bringing him in anyway. Mutton Chops! Mutton Chops, bow down to Mutton Chops, your lord and savior, my friend. You know not what you have done. You will know suffering. Damn it. But overall, I will say the end game to this game just kind of feels a bit weaker because it sort of feels like more of the same, at least with Dragon Forces, um... Like, at least with Dragon Forces Endgame, it was, it was a... a bit more directed and a bit different that you had to go to each of the shrines with certain people. It was a bit... I mean, it was more scripted, but there was a bit more of a... Like I said, it was... It, just, it, it was more scripted, it was more directed, it had more like a feel of, oh man, this is Endgame, whereas this, it's like, you know... All of a sudden, whoops, there are 12 more castles! Have fun! You know, it's like, eh. Don't mess with the Chimera, you'll lose real bad, you will get murdered! Ignore the Beastmen, they will not fight you, they're going to kill your boss! They did a pretty good job, they just murdered the shit out of those Chimera, so... That's good. So, 
The Birdmen do a pretty damn good job of that. They were, I mean, they were even with the Chimera, and somehow I managed to actually murder their faces. But now they're also, uh, bad. Real bad against ghosts. Like, real bad against ghosts. So, just fly over the ones murdering you. Don't attack them. Fly over them. Fly, okay. No, no, okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's cool. Yeah, let's go and break this shit, my friends. Yes, you have been saving this just for me. Wait, no. I have been saving this just for you. Whatever. I can... Verbs. Wait, is that a verb or a noun or an adjective? It's a noun, right? I can't remember grammar. Shit. I haven't, I haven't learned anything about grammar since second grade. Which is probably evidenced by the fact that I can't really speak that well. Words McGee things it stuff and words and things and English is me speaking at good. So murder the shit out of his army, please. I would totally throw you into a duel, but as evidenced by Galazard's uh, near miss, shall we say, that would probably be unwise. Can you hold out? Good job, mutton chops. Good job, my man. I also just totally peeked the thing in my doodle. I'm sorry. I, I I has a sorries. I am sorry. I do not like the cone of shame. All right. So Rennie's going to be getting some mad experience here, which is hilarious because. She's kind of useless at this point. At least she has a lot, and I mean, like, a lot of MP, so... You know... At least if she needed to, she could heal a lot, you know? This isn't like a Tyrus situation where she has no MP and she just... Sucks. Tyrus sucked, man. Tyrus was a dumpster fire. Her entire scenario was just balls, which is hilarious because she might be the next person I'm playing. <laughs> womp womp. F yourself, you evil monster. This is what I want. Wait, no. What? There's... Oh, that's right. She has no spell. What am I doing? I totally effed up trying to sing along to that song. This is like the SK sing-along day. Watch her fail. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, go ahead and silence me. Like, go right the hell ahead and you do that, man. Let me know how well that one's gonna work out for you. All I have is a goddamn healing spell, man. You ain't doing any damage to me, man. So, yes. Murder the one little ghost. Thank you. Uh, retreat. Uh, regroup. I don't know why those were like in opposite order. And then you're going to attack. As I said so. Whoops. Buttons. Buttons are hard. Uh, okay, so apparently. No, 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 no. Regroup. There you go. And now stand by. Some of you are going to lose your life. That's just. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, man. This way you're getting hit four ways instead of two. Which again, sounds like a euphemism, not intended to, I promise. But yeah, good luck with this, my friend. You will die. Bye byes Our army was victorious, Lady Kade. Stupendous. Absolutely marvelous. Hey! Renny just learned something, I think. What did she learn? Hyperstorm! Yay! She got something offensive! Woohoo! Uh, you guys need anything? Alrighty. Okay, take two. Let's see if we can take this castle. If we do, it will be magnifico. Yes, 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 what fool dare challenge the mighty, like, go fuck yourself, dude. I don't give a fuck. Shut up. 
So, Nolt will be the first one to go. Then Go Ball will be the second. And they will be amazing, and it will be great, and it will be wonderful, and they'll take down all of the armies, and it'll be fantastic, and I'll call him George. I'm rehashing the same fucking jokes. You know Let's Play things going on too damn long. But seriously, that is a lot of fucking troops, dude. But I do really want to kind of compare the two different, like, Dragon Force 1 and Dragon Force 2 to see if Dragon Force 2's map is bigger, because it just feels bigger. Because Dragon Force 1's map was, like, teeny tiny. Once you had 100 troops on either side, you did not have a lot of space to deal with, man. You did not have a lot of space. All right, robots. Earn your keep, my man. Earn your effing keeps. Earn all of the keeps. Every last one of them. And you will do a stupendous job, I'm sure. Because I think melee has a tendency to, like, lower defense. Stand by, maybe there's just, like, a small defense boost or something. Right, nope, never mind. Never mind, they're getting wrecked. Oh, well. I'm taking about as many of them as they are taking of me, so... Which stands to reason... I mean, that's reasonable. They're they're on even even keel, so it's gonna... You know, if it's 50 to 0, that's pretty much where they should be. So... Could have done a lot worse. Could have done a hell of a lot worse, actually. Now watch this amazingness in action. Look at no go. Look at this. And freaking... I mean, he's, he's a literal killing machine. I mean, that's, that's kind of like his purpose. But my god, look at this man go. It is majestic. And it's hilarious that he has seven intelligence. I wish there was something that would give an increased intelligence because I, I want to do a playthrough where I just farm all of the intelligence items so that way he can have like a hundred intelligence and just be this just unkillable god. I can do triple dart now. Yay! I gained a single intelligent intellect somewhere. It's somewhere along, somewhere along the way. I don't know where or when. But he now has three intellect. Or three, three MP, excuse me. Come on, Nolt, you can do it. You can do it, Nolt. You can kill the remainder of his soldiers. Wouldn't it be fucked up if this game allowed you to heal outside of, outside of battle? If, like, one of the things you could do was actually use MP from your units to actually heal other generals outside of battle? Which means that you couldn't use that while you're in battle, you couldn't use that healing spell, but you could use that MP outside of battle to heal one of your units. That would be the most fucked up thing. That would change the game so much, and it would be kind of amazing, to be honest. Do I want to put Nolt in there? And just have Gold Ball be my go-to? 92, 97... He's 93, 94. Nah. I'll put... Yeah, sure. Actually, that's exactly what I was going to do. Alright, Gold Ball. Let's see how good of a Nolt you are. Are you the superior Nolt? Are you the better robot? Let's find out. You have way fewer troops, so you're gonna have to tank a hell of a lot more hits. I hope you understand this, good sir. Because it ain't gonna be pretty. Oh, hey. They're the panicking my ass, I'm a robot. What is his arm? Do you see that? What the hell is up with his arm? He has like a lance arm, look at that. Do you see that? His arm is like four feet long. And it has another joint to it. What the hell? That is baller as shit. Nolt doesn't have that. I don't know why I'm saying I want it, because I, I understand that there's going to be some uh, unfortunate consequences with getting something like that. I mean, this ain't Deus Ex. You're going to pull this shit, sir? Really good, sir? Well, I guess better to do with the one that has 20 troops. See those two units. Did not kill a single one of his units. All right. Sit back and relax, boys. We got a fight. You're gonna bolt storm? Yep. That hurts. That hurts a little bit. All right, go ball. I have faith. I have faith in your capability to survive longer than you think you can. Triple dart, please. This will set it back a little bit and it'll also kill a few of his units as well, which is a plus. And it'll also do some damage to him, which is also another bonus here. 
Anything that can keep this guy going as long as I can is gonna be obscenely useful. Because look at this man go. He's just tearing these dudes up. We can do one more of those, which is unfortunate, because that might actually be enough to kill him. Yeah, that definitely might be enough to kill him. That is real unfortunate. But I'm gonna go whole hog. Last time I was too timid. So if I have to wind up losing one of my soldiers to actually win this, I'm gonna do it. You know, sacrifices and all that. I need to kill his troops. Because the thing is, if I can get Nolt in here and win a duel, chances are he can probably beat both of them. Chances are, anyway. But he needs to be troopless, that's the thing. And I think I also have somebody with ranged units in here, so if need be, I can always cheese the shit out of it, too. Really, AI? This is what you're gonna do? I mean, okay. I mean... Alright. That's not at all what I was expecting. I would have expected him to use the, uh... The electrocution in McGee and, and kill me, because that would have put him at an immediate advantage, but okay. Alright. I throw Nolt in there. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. Augusto Nira. I mean, they're both good against zombie and kind of what do you have? Aqua Ball? Aqua Ball and Cross Slash. What else do you have? Chimera and High Ogre. Hmm. I'll put Nera in. Nera? 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 Is it Nera? Nera? Whatever. I can't pronounce these freaking names, man. They don't make any damn sense to me. You know, this ending thing kind of feels generic. Maybe that's what it is that gets me versus Dragon Force 1. Because again, like I said, it was more directed. It was more unique. This is just, you know, ten castles that sprout up and you're fighting literal copy pastas of one another. I mean, I guess you kind of get to with Dragon Force 1. But there was, there was more story elements to it. You were fighting dragons, but then again, you know, before that point, you didn't really fight dragons. This thing, one of the things you do is fight ogres in your off time to get more levels. So what are you doing at the end? Fighting more ogres. Like... Okay, cool. Yippee skippy. Yes, yes, crush them and all that. Alright, Archer Man, murder the shit out of the Chimera. And they will murder the shit out of all the Chimera that are coming around here. Because that's what they do. Provided they can survive the zombie onslaught long enough. Actually, archers are, like, pretty decent against zombies as well. They're at least on even even footing, anyway. And they're, they're holding their own! The handful that are left are definitely holding their own. And they're tearing the shit out of the Chimera, which is kind of like their job. Which is their entire reason for being here, I might add. And they're... they're, they're this, this, this I'm okay with. This is... This is acceptable. This is an acceptable outcome. Uh, order all. Regroup. Because if I can kill the units, then I can actually order them to advance. All three of them. <laughs> because they don't have this, this guy doesn't have an attack pattern. Like, a, he doesn't have, um, offensive magic, so he can't do anything. I have three archers left. I'm almost dead. But so long as I fight the melee, I pretty much win. It's gonna take me forever, but I win now. Because I can just plunk these two archers right in front of him and just slowly whittle him down into an early grave, basically. Because I am not... I'm, I'm not gonna be dueling him with so little health. That's for damn sure. But, like I said, this is pretty much a win. It may take, you know, three or four duel rounds, but it's a win, guaranteed. Yay, cheese strats! Indeed, that is in fact all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. I do apologize if these episodes are a little bit longer than normal. 
because I would just, not to say I would like for it to be over, but, well, yeah, it's not like I want it, I just want it to be over, it's, but I do want there to be a, a decent conclusion at the end of every episode, rather than what I did before, which was like, at the half hour, 30 of my minute mark, I would just kind of cut it and start over, which is one of the reasons why those things were like 40 episodes long, well, it was like 33, I think, 34 episodes was the longest of one, Relevant, getting kind of like, you know, behind the veil here. Rump, bump, dump, dump, bow. I'm gonna throw Nolt in. I mean, as I mentioned, I was going to have Nolt and Gold Wall be the uh, the troop killers. And since they've both taken down both of the ogre armies, um, you know, we should be pretty much in the clear at this point. I can kill the last of this one. The other one, I don't, I don't want to throw gold wall in again. If I, I, I will if I have to. But, you know, 15 ogres are a lot easier to deal with than 100. So they, they, did, their perform, they did their prescribed jobs by tanking an entire army by themselves. And very well, I might add. I mean, the thing is, if the one that Gobal had not fought, if the one Gobal had fought had been a melee general instead of a caster, he would have just wrecked the shit out of him because he would have, you know, he would have had, he still would have had like half health. Easily. I mean, you can see where, where Nolt is at right now. He's still at like two-thirds health and not even breaking a sweat. You know what I mean? Same thing would have been for Gobal. The only thing is, that dude's a caster and there's not really a whole hell of a lot you can do about that. Yes, yes, we will duel the shit out of this man, and he will know fear. Come on, Nolt, I'm pulling for you. Come on, Nolt. You need to do a crit, Nolt. You need to crit, Nolt. That was the exact opposite of- oh my god, Nolt. Aw, oh, come on, man! Dude! Come on, man! You're Nolt! You're like the dual master. What the hell are you doing, dude? How can he's a fucking robot? How's he get injured? Meh. I definitely can't throw gold ball in now. All right, time for Edwarl then. Edwarl. Edwarl. I swear to God, if a second episode ends with me having to retreat from this location, I'm gonna be pissed. So what do we got here? So what do we got? We got a, we got three people left that have. Well, actually, two people left that have, like, Birdman and Archer. So, they're going to be good against evil dude. Yeah, they're both fine. The idea here is I'm going to actually have to play a slow game, which sucks, because I'm 38 minutes into the recording here. It sucks real hard, because I'm 38 minutes into the recording, and I'm not doing this shit again, damn it. I damn it, do it, Captain, I don't have the power. You want to deep black me? You want to deep black or are you gonna lightning storm? I think that's lightning bolt. Nope. Nope, that's deep black. But that's not gonna do anything against my flying units because they fly. Ha ha. Suck it. Ha ha ha. Sucks to be you. What do you have? Sonic Blast. I like that. Indeed, go to hell. What a fantastic thing to say! I agree wholeheartedly. Go F yourself, game. And... Am I gonna do this? Am I really gonna wait? I think I may just wait. This is like the cheesiest tactics of all fucking time, but I am actually going to, in fact, wait. 60 seconds for this. Again, this is like, this is why design speaking wise, they shouldn't have done this, allowed draws to uh, not have a negative impact because then there's no reason not to do it. Anytime that something does not go in your favor and you have the means with which to draw out the clock, and, and fight to another day, then you should do that. You know what I mean? At this point, you may as well just have like a fast button, just like you do on the main screen, to uh, speed up, speed up the time, so you can just withdraw and then re-pursue at a later date. You know what I mean? 
Because at that point, retreating may not have a, a downside to it because it's not going to, like, you know, if you're going to draw, it may, it may as well be counted as a loss. If you don't count it as a loss, this is the type of thing that will happen. Now, granted, the AI doesn't abuse this, but imagine if this game had, like, a, not a, co a cooperative, a competitive two-player aspect to it. This would be all they would do. They would just purposely draw out the clock and cheese it and either frustrate people into quitting, which I guarantee you there's some people that will troll the shit out of you with that, or they would purposely draw out the clock so that way they can do it at a better advantage, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. Yay! Tactics! No, you did not screw up, good sir. I can promise you that. You did exactly what I wanted you to do. You did precisely what I wanted you to do. Wait, so what do we have? I still haven't lost- I, I still have two people who are near dead. He's the only one with units left, which is the one that scares me. Because I have- these are all my guys left. I have Gold Ball. whoop de doo he has 9 HP. And at this point, he probably would be better served just being thrown to the fodder for uh, Jan Fader there, and just taking a couple of units down before dying horribly. But right now, Chickadee with two archers is pretty much my salvation for killing these guys. So this is probably going to be another goddamn hour-long episode. My god. I think I may just cut one of these episodes out, to be honest, because this is getting a bit ridiculous here. I am singing along to the music because I have no commentary for you. It didn't exactly match the beats, but I, I, I tried. I'm not very good at this, by the way. I'm really not. All I need for you is to get in range so you can get shot in the face a few times. Uh, close ranks? Nope, okay, just to stand by then. That's cool also. So now we continue to wait for another 70 seconds and hope that this will be doing enough damage to kill him. If not, this is gonna be a long fucking fight, guys. Because I am not losing this fight again. Damn it. Dag nabbit, I'm not killing these guys a third fucking time. Wait, I didn't kill them last time, I just- that's right, I, I actually did not kill them, so... I need to at least kill a couple before I retreat, that's- that's when I'll feel good about it. If I can just kill a couple, I'll be fine. You know, I can retreat no problem with Jan Fader being the only one left, but the other three assholes have gotta go. I just kinda wish I'd saved more than two archers, but then again, the fact that she even lived is... kind of amazing. I- I would've 100% assumed that she'd have been dead by this point. So I'm glad I brought one with archers, otherwise I'd have been... Ah, excuse me, screwed a second time. Sorry, it's 12.22 in the morning and I was expecting to have beaten the game by now, but damn it. I've already started, I may as well finish, you know, there ain't no stopping this train we on. The um, hashtag Barrett. <sighs> okay. So maybe just one more round of this, maybe. I'm not retreating, guys. I'm not retreating. Could you shoot him one more time? Damn it. I don't want my impatience to get the better of me. I really don't. I just want to win this in a somewhat efficient manner. And if inefficiency is usually what ends up- Sorry, I'm like poking at my boom mic McJig. Because I- I can, kind of. No. No. No, no, no. No. You're not refusing this deployment, my dear. You are my meal ticket to at least killing one, if not two of the- Actually, I could probably kill all three of them. So she's going to get levels out the ass after this, which is unfortunate because it's like, you know, five minutes more the end of the game. And that's always like the biggest piss off in RPGs, isn't it? When you get a character that either is super powerful or has the capability of being super powerful, but you don't get them until like the very, very end of the game. So they're super useful, but by the end, it's like I already have my comp. I already have my setup. I, I've got things the way I like, and it's nice to have this super powerful person, but it's so close to the end of the game that it's like you don't even you don't even really have a chance to like really use them you know what I mean it almost feels like a waste to have that super powerful character but then again that can be said for any time you get a super powerful character only for a short period of time usually like you know um, your Final Fantasy 7s your, your, your Chrono Triggers you know where you get these super 
Um, you know, Lunar did the same thing. We got the really, really super powerful characters for like, you know, two hours in the game. And obviously they did that so that way you can actually see for yourself, the player, you could see just how ridiculously powerful this character is. That your characters that they're fighting, they're like, doink, 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 doink. You know, they're doinking their way against these little itty bitty mobs while these guys are just like, I cast one spell and everything is fucking dead. You know, you can get a feel for just how ridiculously OP this character is, so that way when they obviously defect and become your enemy, you're just like, ha 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 ha, fuck. I gon' die, son, we gon' die! Which is exactly the point, it's, it's a narrative thing, you know? It's also a point so that the player can thematically see just how powerful this is, so you have a drive to become as powerful as this person, you know what I mean? You, you want the power they have, so you strive to become as powerful as they do. Theming, you know. Like Ego Raptor said. Oh, by the way, Jan Fader was killed. Wait, who the fuck is the guy I'm killing then? Estan. Okay. So I gotta kill Estan then. Fair enough. I really can't afford to lose these other units, so I gotta th like I really don't have a choice. I've gotta throw Nira in here now. Otherwise, they they suffer intensely for this. I really don't want the Dragon Force episodes to be an hour, but at this point, given how long the battles can be, it might be more beneficial if I start making them an hour long. It might be more beneficial for you guys too, so that way you can actually get more content out faster, you know what I mean? I am the Deathbringer! No, you're the Assbringer, good sir. You cause the death of Gobal. You will know suffering. Asshat! Besides, he is a caster, so he is, by definition, slightly weaker. I mean, all things told, like, the ogre casters really aren't that much weaker than the melee ones. They're just way more dangerous. Uh, close ranks? Okay, never mind. I guess you'll just stand by. Uh, close ranks? Please? No? Okay, I guess, I guess you will just stand by then. That's fine. Now we get to see how long it's going to take to murder this man in his face, repeatedly. But hopefully he doesn't have quite as much HP as the melee ones, so that way we may actually kill this man in one turn. Otherwise, this is going to suck. I mean, I'm at 47 minutes right now. Yes, I am watching it now that, uh, now that an encoding weirdness has happened. And I can actually pay a bit more attention to what the hell is going on exactly. Shoot him in the eye So that way I can kill the other one And complete my quest Oh Jesus, I'm quacking the song I'm not just singing along It's not just a sing along, it's a quack along now I know what this episode's gonna be called Come on, we got 14 seconds left, man. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. I have faith in you, random archer. I have faith in you. That's like two hits, man. I know you got it. You got it. You got this. You fucking don't have this, do you? God. Damn it. Leave his... I don't even get an experience. I don't get experience for a draw, dude. Come on. You have one job, Archer man! It was shoot the man into the face until he stops moving. I mean, he was moving, but you know, like... Oh, fucker. I may throw Goball into a duel, actually. Alright, Nira. You know the biz. You are going to shoot him in the face until he's at low health and then maybe have Goball uh, take the final blow here. Although it would be kind of shitty to deny Mira that extra experience considering the fact that her archers did all the work. Not even her, her archers are doing all the work. It kind of sucks that they're not getting experience for it. It'd be hilarious, honestly. Okay, I gotta stop. I gotta actually start having something in the range of commentary, because otherwise, uh, well, you guys are probably gonna stop watching at this point. And at that point, I am so terribly sorry. Are you going to shoot? Yes, you will shoot. But I mean, 
in terms of Dragon Forces 2, Dragon Forces, Dragon Force 2's like leveling scheme, so to speak. I mean, do you guys think it's a good idea, a bad idea? You've already heard my thoughts on it. That, you know, I think that I, I like the fact that there's more character progression, that there's upgrades, that, you know, certain crests are actually useful. I mean, beast crests are still pointless because they're fucking beasts, who cares? You know, I, I, I can appreciate the upgrade, pa uh, the upgrade paths that are available, but I don't like the fact that there seems to be a reliance upon those grinding caves. I mean, I don't necessarily mind the fact that they exist, but I don't like the fact that they use the fact that they exist as a means to be like, okay, so the end is going to have like a hundred of literally everything. They're all going to be level 45. Have fun. But to be fair, that's usually how most RPGs are, is that there's very clear like leveling points at which you're like, hey, you need to be like level 30 by this point. If you don't, well, you fucking grind. Like, that's the way the game, you know, that's the way RPGs work. You know, you have to be this level. If you're not the right level for this, you're going to get your ass kicked. So you go out and grind. But SK, you hate grinding. Well, that's a fucking RPG. RPGs involve grinding. That's kind of the point. You go, you kill stuff, you get experience, you get stronger. That's the point. I'm not necessarily opposed to grinding in, in RPGs and MMOs and anything. You know, but the grinding has to be, like, somewhere in the realm of, like, interesting in some fashion. You know, even mindless grinding, you know, you can turn it off and play music in the background like even grinding in like ion is not like i'm not even necessarily opposed to it it's just like the grinding in ion is you know it, you're talking like asian grind fest like it, it gets it's 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 pretty the thing about the, the grinding in a lot of mmos the difference between grinding in mmos versus grinding in uh, your your typical like single player rpg is that the amount of time it takes to grind is or at least it seems exponentially higher in most MMOs than it does in most single-player RPGs. Uh, partially because in MMOs... I mean, like... Like, the grinding in Final Fantasy XI back in the day was horrendous. I mean, it was... It was painful. It was extremely punitive. You know, it was very harsh, but... In a way, and I mean, it would literally take you months, if not years, to get to level cap. Same with EverQuest. But one of the reasons that those leveling experiences those grind experiences weren't so bad is because you did it in a group setting you know what i mean it made it harder but in a way it made it a lot more fun oh <laughs> oh wouldn't this be a pisser if i got exactly to this point and then found out that i'm still going to lose to this asshole wouldn't that be the most hilarious fucking thing of all time we have 60 units, he has like, eh, units. What do you actually have in terms of like overall strength? 77, 80, 76, 73. What do you have? Silence, cross sash, arm doubler, bolt storm, EP flash, whatever the fuck that is. All right, Augusto. I get the feeling that you're probably going to die if I if you actually hit zero HP. I don't know why, but you seem old, and usually old people are more likely to die. So the story goes. But anyway, when it comes to things like grinding, I'm not necessarily opposed to it. It's just the monotony of it can get really old really fast. And I don't know. Like, for some reason, the grinding in Ion, it's just like... I mean, I like the- I actually really like the combat in Ion. I really enjoyed the combat in Ion. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I did. But it just... <sighs> I don't see the difference between the ogres and- oh, they have horns. Okay, that's- that's literally the difference. Okay. So, we're gonna cross slash this shit. Because we can. And just something about the grinding in Ion was just a bit painful. I don't know why, it's just, it... Like I said, it just, it just felt kind of painful. I'm not necessarily against it. It just felt just very monotonous, unfortunately. I don't know. It just felt, it felt almost never-ending, I guess, is, is the big thing. It was that it just... And this is not supposed to turn into, like, a bitch on, you know, bitch about Ion Fest in the middle of, like, a Dragon Force video. Because, I just, I like the combat. It's just the, the grinding in that just felt a little bit monotonous after a while because it just didn't feel like I was making 
a lot of progress, you know what I mean? At least in Final Fantasy XI, it felt like you were making progress. Even if it would take months to level, you felt like you made a bit of progress because every every battle was like hard won. The thing about Ion is that it's not... Oh, Jesus, that hits hard. That hits real hard. And that's fucking 2 MP? Holy shit! Uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta retreat. I'm gonna lose him if I don't. 55 minutes and I'm still gonna lose this goddamn castle. Son of a bitch. Alright, we're going power hour, boys. We going power hour today, boys. I am not ending this video until I get this goddamn castle. I don't care. I will tell all of my generals to just turn their ass back around and go right to their main castle. Or a retreat or something. I am not ending this video until I get this castle. Until this asshole is dead. End of story. End of story. So, on that note, I should probably... Actually, no, this is stupid. On that note, fuck this, I'm out. This is stupid. There's no point in me doing this because he's just going to regen. And he's going to be at full health. So I'm just wasting time at this point. We're going to flee. Yes, we're fleeing. Okay. So, I have a new plan. 56 minutes into the video. I have a plan. Take this man down. And it will be glorious. Damn it. Hey, cool. Experience. Yay. Yay. Experience. 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 That's... that's Actually, that's a lot of levels. <laughs> that's a lot of levels. Okay. Do I still have armies? Traveling anywhere. Okay. I do, but there are no other things in danger of doing the stuffs. So, yes. Let us murder this man. Yeah, 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 I don't care. Shut the fuck up. These guys are so ill-equipped to fight this army. It's actually unreal. Effects so I hear this story that this man is OP as fuck because he has the ability to uh, heal and then regen his own MP, which means that he's basically an, an unstoppable killing machine provided he can survive long enough to do both, which is kind of hilarious. So I'm going to use the shit out of that, if that is okay with you guys. Bring it. Yes, indeed. It probably doesn't matter. Actually, no, it probably does matter. So, let's form ranks. Order all. Attack. We going balls deep, boys! I don't know what's up with me calling everything boys. I've been watching too much... Well, internet stuff, I guess. Restores 2 MP. That's fucking broken. Healing is 2 MP, Cathaxis is 0 MP, so basically, he can heal Cathaxis, heal Cathaxis, heal Cathaxis, heal Cathaxis, heal, heal, heal Cathaxis, and he's basically an, an unstoppable killing machine. Are you gonna silence me? Unless he silences me. Alright, never mind, never mind, that is, that is... That's the issue! That's a problem! That is a very big problem! Being silenced is is not okay. So we we have found the solution to this problem, and it's called silence. Whoopsie. Well, Varley, it's a shame that I brought you out for this. I kind of forgot this dude had silence. If I had known that, I would not have done that. So, it looks like you're going to be tanking a whole shitload of miles by yourself, and you may be dying for it. That's my B. My sincerest apologies. I promise not to do it again. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, that's right, it silences both, both of them. So that's not that bad, all things told. And finally it- oh, shit. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear me doing that. Okay, apparently my pressing the button did not register. Injured? 
Yep. That's unfortunate. That's real unfortunate. Okay, so. Uh, no. Yeah, you're, you're going, Stefano. Wait, was he actually volunteering? Oops. Okay, well. So, mistakes abound. My sincerest apologies in that regard. But seriously, I, I would like... I, I would like to see the end of this and, and see the exciting conclusion of uh, as the whole fucking turns here. Order all attack. Murder all of the things. That's fine. He has all sorts of troop killers. I'm okay with this. Because I have fucking Aura Bomb. Whoop de doo. That's right. Fight all of the things. My, my guys are pretty much getting destroyed, which is to be expected. Hey, how's it going? That does not hit as hard as I was expecting to. That's good. That's good. Could have done a lot worse. You're not going to tell him to melee, right? Ah. <laughs> I can't even fucking aura bomb! Alright. Well, I'll just wait until all of my units are dead. So that way they can all turn around and then I can salaman the shit out of them. Salaman? Salamander the shit out of them. This guy really is not as scary as I thought it was, but the whole, like, him having silence, uh, has made this a bit more unfortunate. I love the fact that it's just his... His cry is just, I'll poke you, dude! Did I really just kill two, two units? I killed five. That's fine, I guess. You know, that's... <laughs> whoop de do. But that's fine. He's wasting his MP on Stefano. I still have three more generals behind this. All you gotta do is just throw bodies at it. Eventually, you'll win. I'd rather not be too reckless about it, but, you know, I fucking got barley wasted because I'm a dumbass. Alright. So I have Enzo and two other people who I can't even think of right now. Mateo. whoop de doo And Hannah. Hannah's the robot, right? I mean, that ain't bad. I may as well just... Hmm. This is like super power hour time here. But again, I'm not... This man will no suffering. So help me God. This dude's a bigger pain in the ass than freaking Mitty is, man. Or Olvo, or Scythe, or Gaul. This guy, this motherfucker I have never seen before is a bigger pain in the ass than the... the... What the, whatever the hell you call them, the antagonists I've seen prior to this point. Damn it, Beavis. Yeah, go ahead and attack. It's fine. Do your thing, my friends. Do all of the things. Fight each other, ignore each other, who gives a shit. Fucks are not happening at this particular moment. Because Hannah is on the case. And you cannot deny Hannah because she will basically destroy you. Uh, that's not exactly the most convincing way I've ever said that, to be sure. But rest assured, I believe in her capability to end this. Or at the very least, just kill his fucking troops. That's the big thing. Just murder his troops, man. You know, I can spend 300 units killing this man with his, his stupid 95 defense, but just kill his damn troops. Oh, that's right. Hannah's like the physically weaker one of the group here. How much MP does he have left? Oh my god. Jesus. God, this man has stupid amounts of MP. Uh, 
Like at this point, he's gonna kill all my generals before they even have a chance to kill all my damn troops. Was that crosshatch really only fucking two? Holy shit. Who has the most offense? You have 65. You have 79. All right, Enzo. You're pretty much my last hope here, because if my last hope is Mateo, I'm pretty fucked. Dun 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 Okay. I still don't know what the hell this EP slash thing is. I don't know what the hell that means, or what it does, or why it exists. I guess this is the point where I'm, I'm, I would rather almost not find out. You know, better the devil you know than the devil you don't, because his cross slash is bad enough as is. I don't want to find out that he has something that costs, you know, 3 MP that does like two times as much damage. That's just, uh, you know, way too fiscally responsible for me. Damn it. Well, shit. Okay. So, his MP is useless. Yep. Just don't two-shot me. That's all I'm asking. Don't two-shot me. Okay, good. Alright. We're surviving this fight, boys. The end is on the horizon. Somehow, some way, we're going to be able to actually survive this fight with this asshole. This level 45 asshole. Who has fucking silence and has no right to have silence. Damn it. But I will say, he has an amazing avatar. Was I too slow? That I, I don't think slow is the correct term for it, sir. Tanky, perhaps, but slow, no. But seriously, fuck that guy. <laughs> Every warrior's soul has its own turn upon the demonic blade. Mine is no different. Ah! You mourned for me, Blade of the Netherworld? Journey with me, then, back to the darkness. Is he talking about Eclissus? I think this world is too bright for the likes of us. Eh! What the hell is he talking about? Is this the whole, er, I'm emo, lived underground because nobody likes me type shit? Hannah, Enzo... Fuck yeah! This asshole's dead. I have my team back. And fuck everything! Awesome possum. Alright, if you guys like what you saw, feel free to leave a like. It helps out a lot. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. I uh, look forward to feedback, good, good, bad, or otherwise, and I will see you guys next time. Hopefully for the ultimate. Instead of the penultimate. The ult- no. Penultimate? No. What the hell is the word for, like, last? There's, like, pen something and then just something. Either way, look. Hopefully the next episode will be the last episode, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out!